School security is beefed up on a high alert at a southern Arizona college. Undocumented migrants are crossing at the border and using a school's campus as a path to freedom. KOLD investigative reporter Shaylee Sanders went to the border to learn how law enforcement is cracking down. Bordered by ranch land, this college campus spreads across 550 acres. It's a bit like an oasis in the desert. Cochise College's Douglas campus sits between Douglas and Bisbee. And while it's about 10 miles away from the closest town, it's less than two miles away from the U.S.-Mexico border. If you were to get up on top of the building, you could actually see uh, the border wall. James Rottweiler is the president of Cochise College and says this Douglas campus presents unique challenges. Now at night out here, this campus is well lit, which means it becomes a wayfinder for those who may have crossed the border. But it's not just happening at night. We sometimes see things out around the baseball field, out at the rodeo grounds, coming across the runway. We have a 5,000 foot runway, which are open areas where there's not a lot of people. Rottweiler says they initially hired extra security to keep a close eye on the campus at night, but that's now become a 24-7 job. With the surge of smuggling that we're seeing in this county, they have become a negative byproduct of that. Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniel says his office has also increased patrols around the college. But requesting intervention from Customs and Border Protection has proved challenging until recently. That's because last year, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas issued this memo, which restricts CBP from taking enforcement action in or near protected areas, which includes colleges and universities. What wasn't thought out through that was these are people that are camouflaged from booty to headgear, running through the, the campus. They've even ran into the classrooms where students are, They're presenting a huge vulnerability for every student down there. My workers did allow for exceptions in limited circumstances, but the agent or officer would have to seek approval from agency headquarters. But we wanted a much more preventative deterrence type model with their presence on campus. In March, U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Chris Magnus issued a memo of his own, recognizing Cochise College's uniquely situated campus, writing in part, Due to its proximity to the border, migrants making their way to the interior of the United States often transit the campus and surrounding areas, which disrupts educational activities and creates a security risk for students attending classes. In this memo, Magnus authorized the Tucson sector to approve exceptions to the protected areas policy. He wrote, by delegating this authority from CBP headquarters to the Tucson sector CPA and DCPA, it will allow U.S. Border Patrol to more quickly respond to the Cochise College campus when requested by campus security personnel, minimizing any disruption to educational activities and ensuring student safety. We're appreciative that the Border Patrol at the, the federal level has tried to adjust a memo that was intended probably for larger urban areas away from the border and is actually recognized that Cochise College is unique and therefore will require a slightly different enforcement pattern. Shaylee Sanders, KWLD, investigates.